Good morning. As you have opened your eyes and logged on to YouTube, I welcome you to one of the biggest launches of this calendar year because while you were catching up on your beauty sleep, Bajaj and Triumph have unveiled the first motorcycle or actually the first two motorcycles from their partnership. Now we've seen these bikes being tested over and over again in the past, but now finally in the flesh we have the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400X. What do these two motorcycles have to offer? Let's find out. Let's start with the heart of the matter and that is a 398cc single cylinder liquid cooled engine. Triumph says this is from the TR range of engines, it's a brand new range of engines and the TR actually harks back to Triumph's old trophy racing days but that's a story for another day because the story for today is 40 horsepower and 37.5 Nm of torque at 6500 RPM. Those are really strong figures especially when you take into account the weight. The Speed 400, it weighs 170 kg and the Scrambler 400X weighs 179 kg. Now the power, the torque, the weight, all of these specs really remind me of the KTM 390 Duke and that's a really good thing. But when you take a closer look at the engine, you will see that it has cooling fins but they are more for form rather than function and actually speaking of form, the engine casing is a triangle shape which fits in well with the rest of the Triumph range and I think it looks really good. Now this engine in particular will be only used by Triumph. It is not going to be used on any other motorcycle from the Bajaj group, Bajaj included. Now in terms of the skeleton of the machine, both bikes are based on a brand new hybrid spine perimeter frame with a bolt-on rear subframe. Both bikes also get a 43mm big piston set of forks up front, but while the Speed 400 has 140mm of front wheel travel, the Scrambler 400X gets 150mm of front wheel travel. At the back, they both get a gas monoshock. But again, while the Speed 400 has 130mm of travel, the Scrambler 400X gets 150mm of travel. So clearly, it's the Scrambler 400X that really seems kitted out to tackle some bad roads. But that, along with some other things, is a thing that we'll talk about on another day. Now before we get to the features, there are a few other points that I'd like to talk about. The seat height for example is a very accessible 790mm on the Speed 400 while the Scrambler 400X has an 835mm seat height. That is quite a considerable difference but the Scrambler 400X still isn't exceptionally tall. The difference is down to the suspension, yes, but also down to the tyres. The Speed 400 gets a 110 by 70, 17 incher up front and a 150 by 60, 17 incher at the rear. The Scrambler being off-road biased gets a larger 19 inch front with a 100 by 90 section and at the rear it gets a 140 by 80, 17 inch tyre. Even in terms of the rubber that they come with, the Speed 400 comes with the Metzeler M9RR while the Scrambler 400X has the Karoo Street. Now we don't expect these tyres to come to India purely in terms of cost and availability. In terms of the brakes as well, these two bikes differ because the Scrambler 400X gets a bigger 320mm disc up front while the Speed 400 has a 300mm disc up front. At the back, they both have a 230mm disc and of course dual channel ABS is standard and that brings me on to the features. Now speaking of features, there is a lot to talk about. Both bikes have ride-by-wire, both bikes have traction control which is switchable, yes. Now both bikes do get dual-channel ABS but the Scrambler also gets switchable ABS for better control on those slippery off-road bits. Now one miss I feel in terms of the features is the instrument cluster. There's a really nice, beautiful analog speedometer but the screen on the side is a regular LCD panel and I think that doesn't look very cutting edge. The lighting though, on the other hand, is all LED, so that's a bit of a plus point. And finally, let's talk styling because this is where I think Triumph has hit it absolutely out of the park. So many times we've got these most affordable motorcycles from very big brands and what happens is they come out looking very forcefully put together and very watered down. But that is not the case with these two motorcycles because they look 
really beautiful. Firstly, they look like triumphs. The simple, clean aesthetics, the round headlamp, the indents on the tank, even the aluminium finishing on some of the panels is, it is really beautiful. And I think that will definitely invite a lot of people to come and take a look at these two. Now, the one thing that will invite people over to Triumph showrooms is the pricing. We will get to know the India specific pricing very soon on July 5th, which is barely a week away. But these are good looking, well kitted out motorcycles with a very impressive spec sheet and a very premium badge on their tanks. So you can expect slightly premium pricing. Now we will be grinning from ear to ear if the pricing is at the 3 lakh rupee mark or maybe even slightly below it. But considering the 390 Duke is currently sitting at 2.97 lakh, we can expect the Speed 400 to be slightly more premium at about 3.2 lakhs, and then the Scrambler 400X to be at around the 3.5 lakh rupee mark. We'll only know for sure on July 5th, but all I can tell you right now is that I'm very, 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 very excited to ride these motorcycles. And of course, the ride review will be on the Power Rift channel very soon. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. Thank you for watching.